Today we're taking a 25 hour train ride from Ankara, Turkey to the pretty much the furthest east you can go to a town called Kars. We just arrived at the train station and we stayed a little too long in the coffee shop so we're gonna rush on and try and find our spot right now. from Ankara to Kars and this is supposed to be a very scenic ride. Unfortunately we're leaving at about 6 p.m. which is when it leaves Ankara and so it's already getting pretty dark but tomorrow should be very very beautiful and I'm so I'm so happy with how smoothly this is already going. We left right on time. The guy already came by to check our tickets and it's just going so well so far. I don't know who thought it was a good idea to set this room at 27 degrees Celsius but oh what? Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm so thankful we have temperature control in here because it is roasting already. <laughs> and to and to get this shot, I'm having to lean against the thing that's <laughs> blasting the heat. <laughs> it is really hot over that window. I don't know what I did, but it turned off. Oh. So. That was better than heat. It's still blowing heat, so I, I don't, but we can get some cool air at least. Real quick before we turn our couches into beds for the night and realistically probably for the rest of the trip because we're probably not going to turn it back tomorrow but real quick i want to show you what this room looks like with the couches so on this train you're not allowed to have mixed genders in the same compartment unless you're traveling together so in order for me and marshall to be in the same room we had to buy all four seats for this compartment so there's actually four beds in here and that means that we paid a lot more for this than we needed to but still it was just a little under 100 us dollars to get four seats to have this compartment all to ourselves and honestly having the luxury of knowing that we're not waiting on anybody else to come in that we can spread out and enjoy the space how we want to is so worth the extra price and even then if we didn't do this if we did a different overnight bus it could have been a lot faster and we may have had to buy an extra night of accommodation so really we think it evened out enough that it was definitely worth it to get the all four seats so since we know it's just us we have completely taken over the side of the couch to keep our bags and our groceries and stuff like that and i'm super excited to change the couch into a bed but so far we've just been hanging out on these couches right here and it's really nice it has an arm that you can pull down but oh <laughs> and it moves really easily just sitting here it's it's not great it's not bad you have to sit really straight up so I've just kind of been like lounging out to really feel a little bit more comfortable but overall it's not that bad especially with just the two of us we've only been in one other overnight train and there were six people in the same size room so like you couldn't lounge out you had to just sit straight it was totally bad so even if there were four people in here this is so much more comfortable than the last train that we had so now that you've seen how it is in couches we're going to change it into beds real quick i imagine this is what that's for So we got two pillows and two sets of sheets and blankets and when we first came in here they hadn't brought these yet we just had pillows and I was a little nervous for that. So I think there are pillowcases in here which is going to make me feel a lot better about the cleanliness of where my head is going tonight. Yay! This is actually going to be so comfy. This is actually like super squishy. I am not dreading sleeping on this if we're being totally honest. And something that's super nice that I don't know if we'll use, but I'm sure would definitely come in handy, is you have a blind that you can pull down that covers the whole window. 
I don't know why that shocked me, but I wasn't expecting to be able to block out any sun. I think that's really cool. And to have just the window that you can open and close to let some fresh air in. Woo! Again, that closes so aggressively. <laughs> and the heat, if you want to go up to 27 degrees Celsius for whatever reason. And since it's just the two of us, we won't need this, but there is a seat belt up here that you can lock into so that whoever is using the top bunk won't roll out of the bed during the night, which, you know, is a nice feature. There's also some, oh gosh, <laughs> I thought I was tall enough to reach it, but I guess I'm not. There's also some luggage space up here, which I don't think our backpacks could fit. I think our backpacks are a little too fat, so we're tucking them under the seats and using mine as a footrest because my legs are too short to reach all the way across to the other seat. Last thing for the beds is there's also a ladder. So again, if we were using the top bunks, you can take this off and latch it on and climb up without having to jump all the way up to the top. So they thought of more stuff than I would have for having top bunks. <laughs> this is such a more comfortable space than either of us were expecting. I don't think we're gonna have any problems getting comfortable here over the next day. <laughs> Lastly, before we call it a night, up here we have an outlet, which we translated this and apparently we can only use it for what did it say it's like charging your phone or shavers don't know why you want a shaver in your bed but at least you have the option and then we have the lights which this one doesn't do anything oh hi dad i used to leave press for attendant and then this one controls the whole light of the cabin and then i think this is just a night light it's kind of an eerie night light i think but but that's pretty much it for our little space here. So we're gonna get some rest and some work done for the rest of the night and we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. We are about halfway through our train ride and I'm so happy to say we actually got decent sleep last night. But we did learn why it was on 27 degrees Celsius when we got in here because it got so cold last night. So we cranked it back up a little bit and we're able to sleep through the night. <laughs> and just like we were hoping, we woke up to some really incredible views this morning. travel days we really healthily cookies for breakfast today we both had fruit before this <laughs> <laughs> okay we had a banana and then cookies and dried fruit and an apple okay fine
were just about to go to the dining cart to get some lunch, but somebody just came by and asked if we wanted to order food for a stop that we'll be at in three hours. From what I knew, we're only stopping at this stop for like six or seven minutes. So I don't know if they're like ordering food, telling people, and they're gonna bring it onto the train when we get there, or I don't know. But he said we have three hours until then, and we gave him some money, so hopefully we'll get food in three hours. <laughs> He said chai and kebab, which uh, are two of the staples here, so we're very excited. <laughs> chai is tea if, you're, if you didn't know. <laughs> Can hear you asking other people. <laughs> okay. That's one of my favorite Whoa! questions to answer. Kebab? Yes. Yes. Always yes. <laughs> the answer is always yes. This train is a really convenient and affordable way for people to get from Ankara to Kars and a lot of places in between. On this train, there are a lot of locals that take it and it doesn't make any stops longer than like five or 10 minutes, but it does stop in a lot of towns along the way. There is a tourist version of this train though that runs, I think it starts running in December, so it's not running right now, but it's a lot more expensive and they do like excursion stops where they stop in a couple towns for I think like two or three hours. We looked at prices for the tourist one before we realized that it wasn't running yet and to get two tickets on there it was so much more expensive than getting four tickets on here like even with having to buy out this whole compartment it was a fraction of the price of what, what it would have cost us to get two tickets on the tourist train and this has been so comfortable that even though i'm sure you would have had a little added luxury with the tourist one we we're so happy we have this option one nice thing about this train is that normally on a bus if you get start to get motion sick you just have to sit there and deal with it. But I can lay down and it's much better. We're also not moving right now, so that helps. Yeah. And water. 
<laughs> We've been saying we need to get more water since like 10 a.m. this morning. We've been very dehydrated today. <laughs> I'm just gonna swing around and hit you first. <laughs> okay. We made it to Kars. That was such a fun train ride and such a unique experience to us. I'm so happy we got to do that and have the sleeper car to ourselves. That was so much fun. And now we have to run off to go find our Airbnb host who's here to pick us up. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. <laughs> I'm so happy I got that on camera.